Hey, what is up, guys? It's Dragon Duelist here, and today I'm bringing you a discussion of Carter Demise. This is uh, the new draw card, air quotes, uh, from the Millennium Pack that just recently came out a couple weeks ago. And uh, there's been a lot of hype around it. Um, and I'm just going to give my honest opinion on the card, how I feel about it stuff like that so if you don't know what card of demise does it is a normal spell card and it says draw until you have three cards in your hand also for the rest of this turn if after this card resolves your opponent takes no damage during the end phase of this turn send your entire hand to the graveyard you can only activate one card of demise per turn and you cannot special summon during the turn you activate this card so a lot of people think this card is the best draw card to ever come out in the game, the best new draw card to come out in recent years. And I completely disagree. I don't like this card whatsoever. Not not that I just like hate this card. I don't think this card is as good as people make it out to be. Um just just in my opinion because there are three things wrong with this card. First of all, it says draw until you have three cards in your hand. Usually, people use draw cards to get more than three cards in their hand. As in like, Into the Void, which says activate only if you have three or more cards in your hand. Because usually, people are gonna just use a draw card at the beginning of their turn to see what their next card will be and see if that changes their hand up a little bit and gives them more plays to uh, go off of. So card of demise doesn't allow you to have more than three cards because who knows it says draw until you have three cards so if you already have three cards in your hand then you can't use card of demise obviously. So let's say top deck of card of demise okay that's fair so you get three cards okay for the rest of this turn your opponent takes no damage there's no you can't attack your opponent or anything not only that but at the end phase you have to send your entire hand to the graveyard so if you draw bad then all of that is going to the grave if you draw good but there's one little stipulation you can't special something for for the rest of the turn if you draw good and you draw something that you can special summon, then you realize that, oh, card demise's last effect, I can't special summon anything, and I can't do anything with these three cards, so I have to discard them. I think, in my opinion, these this card would only really be good in the new Exodia support. I don't know when this will be coming out for the TCG, but this is mostly what it is used for on like death pro and stuff because the new exodia is its attack is based on how many forbidden one monsters you have in your graveyard so if you use carter demise and you draw forbidden ones you can send those to the graveyard power up your summon exodia summon lord exodia and get it up to at least four thousand or 3,000 so I don't really like this card it's it's too big of a limitation on it because of the no special summoning the only having only drawing until you have three cards in your hand and the fact that not even the fact that your opponent can't take damage it doesn't that doesn't really matter to me because you know stuff like a uh, chicken game Chicken game has that same type of effect. The player with the lowest life points doesn't take any damage. And that's that's okay because chicken game was a very, very, very good draw card. But it was because it allowed you to draw a card without any other really bad stipulations. Other than the fact that you have to pay a thousand life points. But that doesn't really matter in the game today because you have cards like upstart which gives your opponent a thousand life points which is probably the exact same thing as subtracting a thousand life points from yourself 
to me, this card pretty much mimics Into the Void because Into the Void, if you don't know, it's activate only if you have three or more cards in your hand. You draw a card, and during the end phase, you can you discard all the cards in your hand. So it's kind of like that, but with more limitations because you also can't special summon and your opponent also doesn't take damage. With Into the Void, all you have to do is if you draw a card and it's, say it's a card you can special summon or say it's a spell like uh, Instant Fusion, you can go ahead and use that Instant Fusion. You don't have to uh, discard all the good cards that you have in your hand now. You can use that Instant Fusion. You can use whatever you have in your hand at that time. Get it all out on the field so you have no cards to discard at the end of the turn. So that pretty much negates his last effect. So a card of demise will never be like upstart. It will never be like Potagree and it will never be like Versus Charity. None of those draw cards like that, in my opinion. Um, card of demise is just not that great of a card. I don't see why many people like it so much. It's just it's such a limiting card. Honestly, I'd rather use just like one upstart or even even now you can use two allure and that's that's going to see um, more play than honestly I think it's going to see more play than card of demise because people will realize okay, card of demise is is too limiting for my deck. I'm going to have to go with something else and you can go for allure of darkness with that as well. So let me know what you guys think of Card of Demise in the description, well, in the comment section down below. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I am signing out. Peace.